What's going on everyone, Mike here. Welcome to another Symfony tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about page design visibility and defaults. Let's open page design and see how we can use the visibility and defaults tabs in order to improve security and server efficiency. Let's take a look at our begin checks page. I'm gonna switch the aspect ratio to 16 to nine to match my widescreen workstations as always. These are the four navigation tabs we have in this page. We have a checks tab, dining room floor layout, a bar layout, and a host area. The host area will only be used by the hosts in one specific workstation. So it would be good if I could limit the visibility to this tab to that one workstation. I can do that using the visibility sub tab here, and I can also set it as a default. But first, I need to take down the number of the workstation that belongs to the hosts. To do that, I'm going to go back to my home page, go to the property level, and select the workstation tab. The reason why we're going to the property level is because the workstation tab is specific to that level. We cannot find it at the enterprise level. Now that our workstation list has populated, we can see that our host workstation is number 101. After you located your workstation number, we're gonna close the workstation tab and go back to page design. Select our host area main navigation section, go to the visibility tab, select this item is visible when, and then click edit conditions. This hyperlink will pop up a new menu and we're gonna add a condition here. From the dropdown, we're gonna select the condition of workstation and enter our workstation value. If you recall, our workstation value was 101. And then we're gonna click OK. And do the same for the default tab. So the host area navigation bar will be the default item when a certain condition is met. And that condition is that the workstation number is 101. And then I'm gonna click OK and save this. Now let's go to the client and see how the changes affected it. I'm gonna click a quick update database to make sure my changes come down and then I'm gonna sign in. As you can see, the host area tab is visible and is the first tab that I see when I sign in. This is the kind of behavior we would want for the workstation that the hosts use. This will save them time from moving from tab to tab in order to reach their work area and also setting that visibility rule. This will ensure that the servers don't go into that section since they don't need to use it. They can use their own dining room floor plan and having access to the host area, they might press some buttons that they're not supposed to. Another good example of using page design visibility is when we would like to hide different navigation areas to be specific to a revenue center. For example, we would like our dining room floor plan to only be visible in the dining room revenue center. And similarly, the bar floor plan to only be visible in the bar revenue center. To do this, we're going to take a look at our revenue center numbers. If I click on the home page, I can see my restaurant is revenue center number one and my bar is revenue center number two. If you cannot see the numbers here, make sure you check this pound box here and then save. You might even need to log off of EMC and log back on. Another way to see the revenue center numbers is by clicking on the property level and go into RVC configuration. Here you can see the revenue center numbers. Make sure you don't take the RVC IDs. Those are something else entirely. So now that we know our revenue center numbers, I'm going to click on my dining room navigation area. I'm going to go to my visibility tab. Check this item is visible when I'm going to add a condition. And that condition will be that the revenue center equals one, which is my dining room revenue center for the bar. I'm also going to say my bar navigation item is visible when and I'm going to add the condition that 
the revenue center number equals two. Then click OK and save. After page design saves, I'm going to jump back into my client and see how my changes took place. I'm going to click a quick update to make sure my changes took place. And I'm going to use my RVC sign in button, enter my number, select restaurant, click OK. And now that I'm signed into the restaurant, as I can see here on the bottom, I can see the dining room floor plan, which is perfect. Next, let's try the bar. Gonna sign in with my number again, select the bar revenue center. And there we go, we have the bar floor plan one. Everything works perfectly as intended. Next, let's move to the transactions page and see what optimizations we can make. Here we have several navigation tabs. We'll take the speed bar as an example. We can set the visibility for the speed bar to only the bar revenue center, just like we did with the floor plan, since the speed bar will only be used by the bartenders. So I'm going to select this item is visible when, add the condition that the revenue center must equal two, and the same for the default. Setting this as a default will save the bartenders a click to go to the fast bar screen. Next, I'm going to save. Let's take a look at the client and see how the changes took effect. We'll do a quick update and then sign in. And as we can see, we are in the default revenue center of this workstation, which is the restaurant. I'm going to begin a fast transaction and I do not have a fast bar navigation item here. Let's sign into the bar and see if the same is true. Again, beginning a fast transaction for one guest. And now we are in the speed bar. Not only we can see it, but it's the default screen that we are greeted with after we sign in. This will make the bartenders very fast and efficient. Next, let's see how we can make our servers more efficient. If I go to my food menu, I can see I have all of my side tabs here that contain my breakfast items, appetizers, soup, salads, and so on. What I would like to do here is send the servers to the breakfast side tab during the morning hours and then send them to the appetizer side tab in the afternoon and evenings. Now we cannot set a default rule based on time. So what we can do is we can use serving periods. If we go back to our home tab, go to the revenue center level, we can find our serving periods. So during my morning breakfast serving period between 6 a.m. and 11 a.m., I want them to go by default to the breakfast tab. And during every other time, I would like them to go to the appetizers tab. If you have a late night menu or a specific late night section of the screen, then you can use the late night serving period and send them to that particular tab. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to use the two. So my numbers are one for breakfast, two, three, and four for lunch, dinner, and late night. Going to close out serving periods, go back to page design, select my breakfast side tab, and I'm going to say this tab is the default when the serving period equals one and save. And for my appetizers, I'm going to say this is the default when my serving period equals two comma three comma four. So two, three and four and then click OK. You don't have to add them one by one. You can just put a comma between them. Next, we're going to save and take a look at the client and see what happened. As always, I'm going to click a quick update, sign in. We can notice we are during the breakfast serving period. I'm going to begin a fast transaction and we've been taken correctly to the breakfast screen, which is perfect. Now let's take a look at some security features. 
if we go to our functions navigation area, we have some employee functions and also some manager functions. We also have cash management and some open items. I would like the manager site tab to be only visible to managers. In order to do this, I'm going to use employee classes. I'm going to go back to my homepage to the property level and we can find under the configuration tab employee classes. My manager employee class is number one. Bartender server and host are two, three and four. So I'm interested in the manager employee class. I'm going to close out employee classes and go back to page design. And I'm going to say my manager site tab will be visible when at a condition. And I'm going to say employee class equals one. Click OK and save. If the managers always go to this particular site tab, you can also set it as a default. Now let's take a look at the client. I'm going to click a quick refresh and sign in. Go to my functions area and I can see and access all of my manager functions with my manager number. Now let's try the same thing with an employee number. I'm going to sign in, go to the function screen. I can see my regular employee functions, but notice my manager site tab is not here. This will ensure the employees do not go to any areas that they're not supposed to and they don't push any buttons they're not supposed to. Next, let's take a look at all the other conditions that we have available for ourselves. I'm just going to click edit conditions here and we can see employee classes, which we already used revenue center. We can also set visibility and default based on a property number. So if you have the same screen shared by multiple properties in your enterprise, you can set a specific screen for each property. The workstation we already used. If you use auto menu levels to switch between main levels and sub levels, you can also do some screen changes based on that. We took a look at the serving period as well. You can also make certain screens visible or defaults based on auto types such as if you have a particular tab that is only visible for to go orders, you might want to show that only at that time based on visual state on an order confirmation board or on till assignment. Finally, I would like to mention that you can add multiple conditions at the same time. So I can click add and add another field here and I can say, for example, revenue center equals two. So now this tab will only be visible if one, you are a manager and you work in the bar revenue center. So both of these conditions have to be true in order to access the manager tab. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire course where you can learn everything you need to maintain your Oracle Micros POS system. And as a special thank you, I also included a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.